Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got this wonderful feeling. Everything's going my way. Well, what am I going to talk to you about today? Well, I've been working on some stairs out here, but I'm not going to make a video of that right this minute. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. It's still, it's still pretty sunny out here. See how sunny it is along the stairs? And let's just take a look at my patchwork that I've done. I ended up patching the stucco all the way along the stairs and it's blending in. It's blending in really nicely along here. And I did it over here too and I thought I was going to have to paint that over here and I and I probably I probably will I'll have to look at it when it's in the shade so you can see it you can see it up in here but uh, it's only been a, a day and a half and I can kind of see it along there I think it's gonna I think it's gonna blend in after a while but I really don't want to work on these stairs yet until until the sun goes over the house that way this will be all nice and shady so so what am I gonna what am I gonna do today you know I'm gonna do something else for a couple hours and we're in an area where sometimes we have mice sometimes wait, I've caught a rat underneath the house a squirrel underneath the house and we talked to the pest control company he says yeah look over look by your roof and see if you've got any overhanging tree limbs and stuff like that to where rats will climb up a tree and you know what they can even jump uh, from your tree over two or three feet depending and you know that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna check today and you know I'm gonna I'm gonna end up cutting some stuff in and even stuff that's along the wall. I don't like to have stuff touching the walls uh, because it rubs on your stucco or siding, whatever you've got, especially when it's windy and breezy and stuff. And so far, so good. But see, see these trees, these trees here. I had one, one limb that was coming over and kind of hanging on the roof, and I chopped that one off. And I'm actually looking up there. I'm actually pretty good there, I think. But see, if you had a tree limb coming over your house, they can climb up there and jump over. And even, even a couple of the limbs, like uh, if they're strong enough, they could, they could climb up that. And just with it bending, they can jump over onto your roof. So I'm going to have to look at that. I may, I may trim some of these some of these lower ones back a little bit and see see this tree here see this limb right there just that little bit right there they could climb up your tree come over here and kaboom hop right onto your roof so I've, I'm gonna trim that one back and I've got some I've got some nice long loping shears and uh, and I'll be able to cut that off I've got a tall I've got a tall ladder too, so I'm not too concerned with that. Okay. Now let's look over. Let's look over here. See this limb here. Look at that. See that limb. Right there is just. I'm sorry. It's just too close to the house. I'm gonna have to trim that off, and I'll have to see if I can't get up there. I only have an eight foot tall ladder. Oh, actually, I've got a. I've got an extension ladder. Uh, the previous owners left in the garage but see all this all this kind of stuff even the ones up higher um, need to be trimmed off and if I can't reach it that's okay uh, next time the my uh, lawn guys are here I'll have to uh, I'll have to have them cut it off he's probably got a long extension pole with some loping 
cutters on there and see see all these this is these are nice flowering trees but I mean that's that's a little ridiculous that needs to be that needs to be cut those right there that's a good place for a rat a squirrel a mouse to climb up there jump onto the roof and start doing damage climbing up underneath a shingle or the overhang area or anything like that so you know even the stuff like I say up against the house against the house I don't want stuff like that they can climb up there and then jump on there and, and crawl up granted they could they could climb up this stucco anyways but again I don't like stuff rubbing the stucco after a while this gets this gets harder limbs and then with the wind going back and forth you could start marking up your walls really um, especially if you have wood siding and stuff let's let's uh, I think okay I know I need to do some stuff over in there and even even this this little limb here over there I don't have to chop the whole thing down all the way I can I can get it lower than the roof and and prune some stuff okay so I know I have to do that too good Lord I'm glad I'm checking this out see this tree here I mean look at all look at all these limbs here they're just going on the roof like that I don't want that okay man I'm, I'm glad I'm checking that look at look at that look at that good Lord see how that's pulled away from there glad I'm looking at this that's a that's a rat entrance for sure mouse bats uh, bees wasps anything like that I can go up in there that's something I'm gonna have to uh, that's something I'm gonna have to fix and I've shown I've shown this before and it looks like it's gotten worse and it's just this this whole edge here has tweaked out see that isn't that something and you know um, here's an, here's on the other side same thing right there has tweaked out like that and that's something you know when we bought the house that's something the uh, home inspector should have caught you know we look over here and this looks pretty good looks like looks like there's some bushes down in there you know that's not going to cause a uh, rat or anything from crawling up here but uh, I can trim I can trim those too okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of walk down that way we'll walk down that way between me and the neighbors let's let's see there's another way to get down here and I wanted to show you another place that rats mice squirrels could enter your your house and I fixed it I fixed it before and it's right here this this goes to two exhaust fans in the bathrooms and this thing was flopping and they all do that and he climbed right up through this on the stucco these are like little areas for him to put his feet boom 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 boom, boom straight up and he went right up in there so I put that piece of metal mesh in there screwed it down with a couple screws and still have it open so that the air can come out but no rats or mice can go in there that went up I made a whole video series of cleaning out my exhaust fan in the bathrooms and the dump oh that was that was quite something I've never seen that before and there was another there was another uh, exhaust here but this was for the dryer and I didn't want to I didn't want to cover this one up with metal I wanted to leave it because you always get uh, dryer uh, fluff and stuff see all this in the dryer this kind of stuff the lint you know whatever doesn't catch in your your lint screen and your dryer comes out and if I put a if I put a uh, 
wire mesh there, it's just gonna build up there. And Loman uses the dryer, oh, I don't know, three or four times a week? Yeah, she washes way too much. I don't know why she does that. And if, if any mouse or rat went down in there, let's see if I can pull this out. Yeah, it came out. Um, if any rat or mouse crawled up and went in there, they're gonna get quite the surprise the very next day. They won't have enough time to build a nest or anything. But with exhaust fans that were in the bathrooms, I didn't even know it until uh, we turned on the exhaust fan one day and well, the, actually the next day, there's all kinds of stuff and rat poop and all kinds of stuff down on the ground. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Pulled the exhaust fan cover off and felt in there and saw all these leaves and stuff. So I had to get up in the attic in the crawl area underneath the floor and in, in, in an attic area take the plywood off, take all this other stuff off just to access where the exhaust fan pipe was because I thought it was loose there and it was all connected and it came all the way out to here and I had to take the, the pipe sections off and there was all kinds of stuff inside the pipe which told me that's how they came in and they went all the way over to the exhaust fan. They couldn't, they couldn't actually get into the attic and cause any more mess we had other rats and mice that did that. But the ones that came up through here, they just made a nest right by the exhaust fan. Nice, cozy little place. And back and forth, they ran right through there, just like a little tunnel. Boom, 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 all the way back there. So that's something, that's something else you can check as you're checking for limbs and stuff. Later on, now here's a tip for you. Before you put these away, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean them off. And then I'm going to spray a little bit of silicone spray or WD-40 on here and, uh, and run them back and forth and stuff so they don't get all gummed up. And wipe them down with some paper towels and stuff and have it all ready for the next time. Do good with your tools and your tools will do you right.